Hey, um, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to move the battery so that you can take the stock off of the AK. You've seen I've done it different ways. I somehow managed to forget about this accessory that really does it the easiest way. Um, so this has an internal battery, or you can put a battery in there, and it plugs in right here, and that actually then can power your gun. So you can use it for extra battery time, or if you take the stock off, it'll go off of there. But I thought I could figure out a way to make some, you know, similar attachments like this for uh, different batteries. So I have a lot of the long cylinder batteries, and um, I don't really have anything to do with them. So I'm trying to figure out a way to use those. So I ordered a 10-pack of these on Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive. It's about $8 for 10 of them. Um, this was first. I just wanted to make sure I got the right size, and I did. These are 2.5 millimeter wide. So it fits in there fine, which was a little shorter. So next time if I buy more, I'll get them a little shorter and I would get the right angle as well. I think what I'll probably do because our wiring is so thin anyway, is possibly drill a really small hole through the sidewall up here somewhere, and then just have the wire come straight out there. And it's going to be in shrink tube anyway. So that's going to kind of protect it and, and strengthen it. So if you open these up, You've got two, two prongs here. The positive is the short one, and the negative is the long one. So if you know how to solder, this is a great soldering system here from 2Auto. So this has the heat gun for rework. This also works great for uh, shrink wrapping. And then you've got your soldering gun. So I use that for any of the electrical stuff that I'm doing with the blasters. All right. So what I'm going to do then is I'll go ahead and I'm going to take some of these or take one. I'm going to solder the right sides to the, you know, positive to long or negative to the long, positive to the short. And then just uh, try it out and make sure it works. And then I might, like I said, change things up so that this actually, um, you know, we shoot it off the side there. So if we plug it in, we can go directly that way. I think that'll help. And I would just probably trim off that part there. All right. So I will turn this off now. I'm going to do that and I'll come back and show you uh, the next step. All right. Before I did uh, too much of anything, I wanted to make sure that this worked. So I haven't soldered anything. I've just wrapped the wires here. Just would have to be very careful when you're testing stuff like this, because if they touch after you put the battery in, it's not good. Um, you'll just probably end up hurting the battery or, you know, hurting the blaster. So if you're testing it out like this, just make sure that there's not any way the two wires, the exposed wires can touch. And I feel like we're safe with those like that. Just going to plug in. These are the batteries I was talking about. I have a bunch of these. So I'm trying to figure out a good way to use them. So let's test it out here. All right. So we can see that it works. So that's good. So that means I can go ahead and I can actually solder to this. And then I can also go ahead and like I said, I think I'm going to put a little hole in the side and we'll try to just take it out. Uh, at a right angle. So that is my plan. That's what I'm going to do. I'll show you after I get done. Okay. So I'm all done here. I went ahead and I made this. So I did make it a right angle. Um, it worked out fine for this. I mean, like I said, if I order more of these, I'll definitely get right angle ones and I'd get a little shorter plug too. So um, I went ahead and shrink wrapped or heat shrink the whole wire just because it's going to add more strength to it and everything. My Goal will be whatever, you know, uh, whatever I build for the battery to go into, it's going to, you know, come back close to this anyway. So there's not going to be that much exposed wire. In fact, I'll probably have more wire than I would really like, but um, that's okay. I can usually figure out, you know, you can always do something that's better to have more than not enough. But so works just fine. Just plug in the battery and... So that's good. That's interesting. If it's turned slightly, it's making a difference. There we go. 
Well, that's interesting to see that turning it somehow makes a difference. I'm not sure what's going on there. I guess it's some sort of contact. It's a little loose. So I need to figure out a way to make it fit tighter or I need to get shorter plugs like that.